hello everyone and welcome to my channel how are you today by the way my name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to look into my collection and choose five of the worst five bottom palettes and five top palettes so I have them in these two little beans right here and i cannot wait to share them with you so if you're new here please consider to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and now let's go with the video So because I like always I like to finish on a positive note, I want to start with the bad bin right now. And then we're going to go to the good bin uh, at the end, okay? So the bad bin, let's see. One of the worst eyeshadow palettes in my collection, if not, maybe the worst one is this one from e.l.f. This is... Uh, rose gold sunset um, eyeshadow palette I I love the color story that's why I bought it because this color story just really spoke to my soul I really fell in love with the color story when I saw it but unfortunately this one the colors don't show don't show up on my eyes on my eyelids um, they fade they don't they just, they literally, I, I don't know what's going on. Like there's barely any pigment in this eyeshadow palette. So for me, this is one of the worst eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. Um, I don't know why I still have it in my collection, but here it is. You know, and I'm talking the worst ones that I tried in 2020 because I do have some other bad ones in there as well. But these are... Uh, eyeshadow palettes that I tried in 2020 and this is one of them um, next two that I tried in 2020 OMG um, these two I'm, I'm calling them as one because these are from the same collection from the same brand of makeup revolution and this one is from the friends Rachel and Monica this the same thing they don't have they barely have any pigmentation the the mattes are so dry in these two let me show you let me open them so I can show it to you the shimmers are not doing great either so this is how they look like again it's kind of hard to even um, make them show up on my eyelids um, not not this was kind of a disappointment because I do have some eyeshadow palettes from uh, Makeup Revolution, but I have them from the Revolution Pro series. I think that's a little bit higher up and that's a little bit better than these. The Makeup Revolution, I don't know, they have so many tiers, this uh, brand that I, I I cannot keep up with. But these two, definitely not a good buy for me. I really did not enjoy them. The next one that was not a good buy and I was even more mad at it because this palette I actually broke my no buy just to buy it and it was such a disappointment. Uh, this is Pure with Raw Beauty Christie palette. Um, I know you're gonna, you can come after me, you can say whatever you want to say but I have the right to like things and not like things and uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of influencer out there that is gonna keep saying that this is an amazing eyeshadow palette because they love Christie um, but it's not I why I do not like it it's because these right here are very hard to blend very hard formula to blend and the color story it's not I don't consider this color story being representative of Christy. Um, so I just, I don't like this. Um, and they're very, very patchy. Uh, a lot of kick in the pan as well. So two came up, I and I did. I played with this for more than three weeks. And to be able to come up with some 
nice looks it took me over 30 minutes to blend this that is unacceptable for me especially when i need to get somewhere i need to have some eyeshadow palette that it's gonna be able to blend and finish my look in 10 minutes otherwise i know girlfriend i'm not okay so that. next one in here that i again really don't like and i did try it this year it is this one from private society this is the amp one this color store is not my color story first of all second of all this colors they kind of look muddy in my i know they're cool tone but i they look very muddy on my skin and they're very very um not dry but very dusty very dusty i i just this one does not do it for me in any shape or form and i tried it a few times just to make sure it's a bad one and yeah not not my favorite and the last one in here if you have seen my other videos probably you would expecting to see it here this is natasha denona mini star palette i absolutely hate this one um, I tried to play with it multiple times and every time it was hard to come up with a look from this one. Not only that, these two mattes, very dusty, barely show up, showing up on my skin and the shimmers are very, very hard to show up and it takes a lot to make them look good. They're not as shimmery as I was expecting them to be. And I really, I mean, not, I'm very underwhelmed with the quality of this. So that was my bad bin. These are the ones that, and I tried this year and I really felt like they let me down. They didn't work out for me. And unfortunately, um, I may declutter them. I don't know. I will see what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to try to use up as much as I can from them. But if i feel like again it's taking too long like that bra beauty christy one i don't think i'm gonna use it i think i'm just gonna donate it now yeah. let's go in and talk about the ones Oof, i didn't want to drop that let's talk about the ones that are really good they're top niche of my collection um it was kind of hard to choose very hard to choose because i had some really beautiful eyeshadow palettes uh, added to my collection this year and yeah it was hard to choose but one of them which is newer to my collection is this one from um exo beauty this is the native palette absolutely love this eyeshadow palette it's such a gorgeous color story um and it's such blendable and this shade right here is magical. I absolutely love it. The way it looks on my eyes, it's amazing. And I don't have anything like this in my eyeshadow palette collection. So, absolutely love this one. One in here that is just... Woo. I was thinking, should I put this in? Should I not put this in? Because... It is a, um, an eyeshadow palette that I absolutely love, but I do love others more than this. But because this was such a huge surprise for me this year, it is Nudes of New York from Maybelline. I decided to put this one in as well. This, this eyeshadow palette, I think it's the best eyeshadow palette from the drugstore at the moment. Um, gorgeous gorgeous looks you can come up with gorgeous look from this absolutely amazing formula blendable the shimmers are gorgeous the, the everything it's just so such well made this eyeshadow palette the best one and the price you can't beat this price next in here <laughs> this one i absolutely adore this eyeshadow petal i only bought it because um me and DeLorean, right? And it's so cute. But I'm also I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian, the show. And I was like, you know, I wanna try and I wanna see how it is. And also because it has a lot of greens in it, and your girl loves greens in here. 
um again very beautiful formula in this one with color pop i think this might be one of the best ones at least that's what i heard i have a few more eyeshadow palettes from color pop but that one that one the 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 shimmers in there are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous next one in here we have khaki hates from huda beauty i love this this color story just speaks to my soul <laughs> this is such a beautiful color story and i absolutely love it i love the matte i love the shimmers i love everything in here i tried it a bunch of times when i bought it i could not put it down um it's just so amazing i love this love 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 and um Next, I have two eyeshadow palettes from both of these two brands that, to be honest with you, I never thought I'm going to like them this much um, because they're very expensive. So, Charlotte Tilbury. This, again, it's newish to my collection, but man, these eyeshadow palettes are just so good. Uh, the best ones for a very natural, beautiful look. Absolutely love both of them. I have one in the Queen of Glow. <clears throat> the Queen of Glow and one in Pillow Talk. And I would say the best things I tried this year are these two uh, from <laughs> Pat McGrath. Yes, they're not new, but they were new in my collection. I cannot believe how gorgeous these two eyeshadow palettes are amazing amazing the way they blend and everything very amazing their shimmers I need to try her mattes to see how they are but man gorgeous colors as well there you go so these are the top five of my collection and as you have seen the bottom five as well i added one extra in there i added the the this one in there as an extra because i really needed to give it this honorable mention it's an absolutely amazing eyeshadow palette but this is all i have for you today let me know which one is your favorite eyeshadow palette and which one is the least favorite eyeshadow palette that you tried in 2020 thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time. Bye.